Welcome to Adventures in Microcontrollers. Um, this is the Linkit one. The box comes in, it comes pretty well packed. Um, Linkit one is a microcontroller that runs um, its own OS, but it emulates um, Arduino, and so it allows you to use the Arduino IDE um, as well as the Arduino um, inputs. Um, Arduino shields fit right on top of this piece here. Now this also has a built-in Wi-Fi, um, Bluetooth, as well as an SD card reader, and many other features. We'll go over probably a little bit later here. Um, here's the rest of the box. Let's see if I can get all this stuff out with one hand. <laughs> Maybe. Just it's nicely packed in there. Um, it comes with a battery, lithium ion, so 3.7 volts. It also has the needed antennas for the various GPS, uh, Wi Fi, um, and I can't remember what the third one is. We'll talk about that a little later. And it comes with a little booklet and map and there and then it has a pinout document which I really like pinout documents I find them quite helpful so okay now that we have the link at one unboxed let's figure out how to actually connect to it um, there, you first have to have the Arduino IDE installed. Let's um, go to Arduino downloads. So in order to get it set up, the one a couple little tricks I noticed is you have the two different versions of the Arduino. You've got the 1.0.6, which is sort of their stable release, and you've got the 1.5.8. In order to get the um, SDK for the Linkit one to work. I had to use the 1.5.8 um, version of Arduino or the Arduino IDE, basically. Um, I just used the Windows installer. Now, when I installed it, everything went fairly smooth. Um, although I did get an error when I installed the I, um, the SDK. So, in order to install the SDK, you need to log into the um, Microtech website. So I just I just Google searched in. Um, link it. Um, SDK. Um, from there you just click on the labs and you log in. And you scroll in here to download SDK. So if you click on download, it'll actually download the file. First you'll have to extract it. Um, and then you'll have to run this exe file so we can get to run, excuse me. Um, it asks for the access control, click on yep. And then it goes through the installation. So um, basically it's click next, although it does ask for a spot to uh, extract the file to install okay then I want you to run the setup and install the driver okay so we've got the SDK installation so let's click next here now this is the actual installation folder of your Arduino um, IDE so you need to browse to it go to your C drive um, it's in oops, program files and then there is an Arduino folder so find that and then click OK and then click next then click on installation it should extract um, the files and continue. Um, now it's not asking me, do I have Arduino already open? Uh, nope. Access to path, continue. Access denied. Okay, let's click continue. It's probably going to fail on us. I think we have to run it as administrator, so let's cancel this. There we go. Now if I right click on it and do so I think it would just open it now if it's already extracted it will actually go give it a try okay let's go 
let's click next browse to where our installation is, it's under C drive program files, x86, I'm running a 64-bit OS so my non 64 bit applications, which Arduino seems to be, is under x86, and then Arduino. I click OK, and let's go next. Installation. Okay, so it did finish it, so you have to extract it first. Um, let's install the driver. Click on finish. It should go through there. Now, the first time I installed it, this is actually the second time I've done it, I ran into an issue where it gave me a error message, a .NET error message that um, said it couldn't run and I had to actually go in and install um, .NET 2.0 framework. I believe that was on the Arduino installation, but this also requires .NET framework. So now that we've got it installed, let's open up our Arduino IDE. Which apparently I don't And let's see if we can get the light, the light to blink on this thing. So that's our favorite thing to do. Notice I'm using the 1.5.8 installation. Okay, let's go into our tools, go to boards, and now you should see the Link It One board. There it is. So choose Link It One, and then go down to Tools, um, Port. Oh, it's not plugged in. Okay, let's plug it in. Okay, so it didn't actually come with a USB cable, so I'm going to see if I can find one. Give me just a minute. Okay, I was able to find a USB cord. Um, it's uh, this kind of one, so it's the same one that um, goes with like the Raspberry Pi. Um, also, um, Arduino, a lot of Arduino, sorry, not Arduino, Android phones. Um, anyway, so this is the USB cable now. It did not come with this. I am. Um, I had to go find one. So let's see if it detected it in the device manager. Okay, so I'm not it didn't find the driver right. Update driver. Automatically search. Okay, link it one driver. Okay, after recording or er, looking around on um MediaTek's web page form I found this post here that talked about using the drivers found in the drivers mtk folder so I tried that and it appeared to work let's see if it actually detected it okay so basically what I did is I went here with it plugged in where it says the driver is unrecognized I did update software driver browse to my computer for this take browse went to C drive program files the Arduino folder where my Arduino was installed drivers and then the MTK here clicked on OK made sure that include subfolders was checked clicked next and then it was able to successfully update your driver software click on close okay so now I'm actually seeing these USB ports show up prep properly um, and here we have COM7 and COM5. So COM7 is the debug port and you need to use that to upload your sketches. So let's launch Arduino now and see if we can upload a sketch. Alright, let's go. Let's take tools, ports, let's go to like it, what did we decide it was. Alright, so we need to change this to COM port 7 because that's the debug. So COM port 7. Okay, now let's go to example sketches. Basics blink. Okay, and we just double check that we actually have the right board checked. Computer. You know you want to do it. Tools, boards. Okay, we do have it checked. Alrighty, and the right port. Alright, let's do an upload and see what happens. Okay, we are uploading. And look, we have a blink. Our first sketch has been uploaded to our link at one. Next, we'll look at um, doing a project. <laughs> 